Okay, so I'm going to be showing the Final Fantasy 15 Official Works Limited Edition um, that I got in the mail today. So just to start off, it's luminescent here and it's the um, end title screen after you beat the game with Noctis and Luna. This came on the back, um, so it's just showing like what exactly is in it and then a couple of pages, which I'll show. So opening it up, we have this really pretty clamshell display here. And then the first thing is this. So it's the artwork from the game at the end in the hallway and it's on a glass plate and it comes with a stand here it says final fantasy 15 and it fits nicely in here this is the replica of the lover's notebook so it's pretty there's a little bit of shine on it, but it's mostly matte. I don't know if you can see it catch the light here. On the inside, we have one of the flowers, like it's shown in the game. The pages don't have any lines on it with the inscription or the um, detailing on the side. And then on the back, there's some stickers. So we have the Exenerus. Here is a sticker from Altitia. Wiz's Chocobo post, and then um, Tenebrae, and then the picture of the Chocobros. This is actually the one that I picked for my end picture, so I'm actually glad that this is the one that they put, so that's awesome. And then of course the official works. So it doesn't come with the anime um, uh, cover that the non-limited edition one comes in so just if people were wondering about that but it's very pretty so it has um like that you can see it and on the back there's this slight so you can see that there of their silhouettes which is very cool so here's the opening artwork i won't go through the whole thing because that would take forever but i'll just show you some of it so it has opening here and it has actually the timeline of the universe of when you know all of the, the actual game came out and then when the DLC came out it has all the chapters of the book or chapters of the game the screenshots of it, different characters. I'll just skip through. It's very pretty. Um, it's very glossy. You can see the, the reflection. So there's all that. Um, it has, oh my gosh, this is awesome. I didn't know this. It has all of the party dialogue. So in case you missed something or if you're like me and you play and then Magitech engines decide to descend in the middle of an interesting conversation and you never get to hear it again. Um, so that's cool. Ooh, it has the DLC for the different characters has comrades, history of Eos. It doesn't look like it has um, episode art in, but that's okay. There's the material. So here's the artwork. It is gorgeous. Some of the concept art here. Kingsglaive character art. 
some of the different designs. It has lots of pictures. Um, so here are the interviews. So interview with the composer. Interview with episode Gladiolus, looks like. So Prompto, composer, I said Ignis composer, which is my personal favorite of the three um, DLC soundtracks. Multiplayer Comrades composer. Ooh, it has all of the listings for the original soundtrack. And then just some extras. So it has some Example, comrade artwork, it looks like, all the weapon data, treasure data, ability data, and then the royal edition, kind of what everything it adds. So first person mode on the royal vessel, um, has the maps of all the the areas, which is actually very helpful. Um, the different rulers in, in the Royal Edition, when you get to do the gauntlet of different, um, the different kings and queens. And then the director interview. Yeah, so the other last piece of this is this gorgeous inside of the clamshell so it's very pretty and shiny not sure how i want to display it i want to do it open or on the top so yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you love the game i think this is definitely an excellent purchase because it has so many different things in it and i'm actually really looking forward to um looking at it and it also oh this also has a bookmark in case you wanted to look at the different areas so yeah that's it